Have you ever considered the significant part that the Electronic Chart Display and Information System, also known as ECDS, holds in ship navigation? It's far from just a gadget. It's the backbone of contemporary maritime navigation, a guardian angel steering vessels through the immense and often unpredictable sea. What are your thoughts on the importance of ECDIS in ship navigation? Imagine being a Port State Control or PSC inspector. Your job, among many, is to ensure that the ECDIS on board a ship complies with all relevant regulations and standards. It's a task of utmost importance and one that requires meticulous attention to detail. Uh, did you know that a PSC inspector can board any foreign ship in port without needing a search warrant? A power that even surpasses some law enforcement agencies. You begin with the all-important steps of approval and certification. The ECDI system, for instance, must earn the sanction from the Flag State Administration and possess a valid certificate. Imagine the Titanic, a real-life example where approval and certification were crucial. Had there been a stringent system of approval and certification, the disaster might have been averted. As an inspector, your role is not just to ascertain the presence of this certificate, but also verify its validity and ensure it's current. You then progress to the software version and updates, particularly highlighting the recent two. 3.4 update that significantly improved the XEDIS system. This system must always be up to date, featuring all necessary enhancements. As an inspector, it's your task to verify this, ensuring that the system is primed and ready to confront the ever-evolving challenges of the high seas with its newly improved functionalities. Let's dive into a story. There was this one time when the system came crashing down in a major company. Chaos ensued, but thank goodness they had a plan B. As an inspector, I had previously checked their backup arrangements, ensuring that they were comprehensive and complied with all relevant regulations. The company was able to quickly switch over to their backup system, avoiding major damage and loss of valuable data. This instance just underscores the importance of having robust backup arrangements. They truly can save the day. Now, we delve into the heart of the matter, the chart data and updates. The CDIS system must, and I emphasize, must have up-to-date chart data. Remember the Titanic disaster in 1912? It was a catastrophic demonstration of what can happen when navigation is based on outdated or inaccurate data. So, as an inspector, it becomes your solemn duty to ensure that the charts are valid and that all necessary updates have been installed. The importance of this task cannot be overstated. The display and presentation of the Echidius system should be as flawless as a Broadway show. It should meet the relevant performance standards. The information must be as clear and easy to comprehend as a picture book. As the director backstage, also known as the inspector, it's your responsibility to ensure that this grand performance is up to the mark. The SEDS system should also have alarms and alerts to caution the crew of imminent dangers. Picture this. A dense fog envelops a vessel. The visibility is next to nothing. Suddenly the SEDIS alarm blares, alerting the crew to an unseen iceberg lurking in the distance. It was these very alarms and alerts that saved the ship from a catastrophic collision, thus proving to be the unsung heroes of the night. As the watchful inspector, you are responsible for ensuring that these lifesavers are functioning correctly and are set to suitable levels. ICDIS training has proven its importance, and one shining example is that of crew member Johnson. Johnson had always been somewhat tech-averse, so when the time came for training on the ECDIS system, he was apprehensive, but he committed to the training and the results were nothing short of remarkable. His understanding and handling of the system improved drastically, boosting his confidence and performance. As an inspector, part of my role is to ensure that the crew members receive adequate training. In Johnson's case, his newfound competence in using the system attests to the power of effective training. Finally, you delve into the maintenance and testing records of the ECDIS system. One common issue found in these records is that the system might fail to accurately chart geographical coordinates due to outdated software. This is of utmost importance because a properly maintained and tested ECDS system is essential to ensure its correct functioning. To avoid such issues, regular software updates should be prioritized and implemented. As a diligent inspector, you ensure that these records are not only up to date, but also accurately reflect that any defects or issues like the one mentioned have been promptly and properly addressed. 
Overall, the PSC inspector will examine whether the ECDIS system adheres to pertinent regulations and standards, and if it is well managed and properly utilized for the purpose of safe and efficient navigation. In conclusion, we must remember that the safety of the ship is the safety of all, for there is no bounty greater than life at sea nor disaster worse than a sea unguarded. Thank you for watching, and I wish you a bon voyage and safe travels. I hope you found this information helpful, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, take care and have a great journey.